talk to me. Good morning. Um, I'm on my way to Zara. I'm walking to Zara right now because I need to take all of that stuff back that did not fit me. Okay, move out the way. All of this stuff back that did not fit me. So yeah, I'm on my way. My mom has my stuff so I can hold. It is you are not struggling. I don't know how big this bag is. And we put all me. She, I really am uh, leave it to the side and keep it from hitting the ground. And then she can still film and still take it over. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'll, I'll look, I'm about to say I'll call y'all back. I'll talk to y'all later after I after I take it back since she complaining. Girl, she complaining. <laughs> Okay, y'all, we took everything back and I'm about to change my shoes because my feet hurt. Let me show y'all my shoes. These are my shoes, them Toga Pula Dupes. You see? When I first got them, I felt like they were a little big and I was holding on um, to them, but I really, really wanted them. Um, so I kept them and now that now that I'm wearing them, like, yeah, they hurt my feet. So I'm about to change. Mom, quit trying to make that lady hit somebody. My mom says she's going to report this lady because she's trying to back into this parking spot and can't. She says she's going to report it if she hits somebody. <laughs> she's a snitch. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to change my shoes because my feet are hurting so badly. Why? Why? Y'all, we are now in the container store because my mom wants to look at some containers. What is she doing? <laughs> A whole mess. <laughs> I haven't been inside of the container store in years. Literally years and forever. I took my jacket off even though it's a little chilly outside they did say it was supposed to be 76 today girl they lied it's like 60 at its finest anyhow we're at home goods about to do a little browsing or whatever and I changed my shoes y'all because my feet were hurting so bad but yeah that is the move home goods and then probably um Nordstrom the one I'm thinking of my higher
Jordan and TJ Maxx. I just got that um, Urban Outfitters top. I didn't get nothing else besides that because y'all know I don't really need anything. I wanted that jacket for Easter. It was too cold. and then I need to go to H&M because I gotta take something back. We made it to Target. We all got on the lace front. She said, you better have on your wig cap. They better have on their wig cap today. Y'all do, they got the bottles. These ain't the bottles. They're some type of bottles, but it's not the bottles. Remember, I have been wanting some bottles for a minute. They have some bottles, but not the bottles that I wanted. But, yeah, hold on. You see, they have these bottles. Remember, I have been wanting some bottles, y'all. I, I saw those. They got those right there. We made it to the mall to return this stuff to H&M. Um, &M. Come on, girl. Is she going to stop or not uh, to return this stuff to H&M? I hate to be looking at people me for her hybrid car. Once it stops, that's her why she didn't want to stop. Once it stops... Then they gotta start back up. But yeah, we at H&M, about to take this stuff back. And I guess browse and look around. I don't got nothing to say, I was just. Be underway, get my mother me to for every. And watch me The next day. But until my will runs dry. it feels like it. it just ain't hanging anyways good morning so i got a package i ordered some um stuff from i know i'm always ordering something. <laughs> girl i stay ordering something um but i had ordered some stuff from forever 21 because um for president's day everything was 50 percent off so the stuff that i wanted inside of the store i went ahead and just ordered it and yeah i had seen this stuff a couple of weeks ago and i have only got um the top if you watch my reel or whatever you already seen it so hopefully this fits because i got me another jumpsuit y'all i'm really scared to even try this on the material is so nice though i'm scared to try this on because girl body but this one is stretchy body suits have not been my thing lately the ones from uh fashion nova i had to take back Y'all, when I say this is some good material, this was $12.99. This, or $9.99, because it's $19.99. This is some good, stretchy, thick material. I'm about to go hop in that. Okay, and then I got these leggings. I started to get, they had a, um, like another type of hoodie that came with it. Like, they had a, a skirt uh, to match all in this color i needed this color because i got some pink green and um like goldish shoes to go with it yeah some pants these look like they're gonna be not high waters but kind of higher than what i want them to be i want them to be all the way down to my ankle but it's giving it's gonna stop at um it's gonna stop somewhere by my calf like capris is what it's giving me 
let me see what this one is i think this is this should be a top i got a top already but girl i'm about to get upset come on now why why okay okay let me see let me see let me see what is this oh okay this is the top y'all I, I was confused okay so this is like the little long sleeve crop to go with the girl i'm about to be cute with the leggings and then i might put like a trench jacket with it it's gonna be cute we're gonna try her on um later because i don't feel like it um so yeah that's what i ordered i also ordered my brother some stuff from m minimal he told me it's called minimal who would have thunk um but m n m l like i ordered from them i'm not gonna say all the time but i've ordered from them quite a few times and especially during christmas because my brother wanted some stuff and i did too girl let me tell you so i ordered my stuff from them right or i ordered the stuff for him um last week so something told me like let me see when um it's coming because it ain't came yet and it's been at least a week or whatever and normally i um track the tracking but they normally send it out saying that it's being it's already been processed and it's sending out but that i never received that email i just received the confirmation girl so i type in the name in my little search bar in my email and then another email comes up which it just skipped me i guess skipped my whatever i just overlooked it girl and it says you uh you're re you have been refunded for the amount of the pants so i'm confused it was no explanation nothing saying uh we were out of stock of the item sorry for the mishap um here's your money back it wasn't anything so i'm like under the impression like i don't did, what is it out of stock like what what is the reason why i'm being refunded right so um again it that they don't say but what i do notice is that i spent 71 dollars in my whole total right 64 was the pants and 699 was the um shipping girl why are they only uh refunded me 64 dollars um um ma'am where's my um shipping fee where's my 6.99 so immediately i'm hot right i know you're thinking like six dollars sis it's only six dollars no it's the principle you did first of all you didn't even give me an explanation as to why i was getting a refund or y'all was canceling my order in the first place and then second of all you're you nobody will ever steal no money from me i don't care if it's a dollar sis nobody will ever take my money i worked hard for that seven dollars and think about it if you did me like that what if you did the next how many people was it a thousand people seven times a, a thousand how much is that seven thousand so y'all didn't gain seven thousand just off of canceling orders you get what i'm saying so no seven dollars adds up and i want my money so i'm immediately hot right so i email them and in the email girl i don't have my phone in the email um, I said verbatimly, hello, my order was refunded and I'm not sure why, question mark. Um, even though my order was refunded, I did not get refunded my shipping. Why? Two question marks because I'm, I'm, I'm mad and it, lucky it wasn't a whole page full of question marks because I was pissed. Then I said, um, you obviously didn't ship out the product and canceled my order the next day. I would like my shipping fee refunded back as well. And I sent it, and I sent it with my order number. Girl, I woke up this morning with that $7 right back in my account. I bet you that. When I say I was about to dispute it, now I buy everything. Um, well, I ain't going to say everything, but majority of the stuff I buy through PayPal um, because I just don't want nothing janky to go on. I want to, I'd rather go through PayPal um, just so I can, you know, have my little, have some type of protection, basically. I don't want you just to be hitting my account. So I always go through PayPal. Um, so, yeah. I am a girl when I say I was about to dispute it with PayPal seven dollars yep seven dollars I don't give a damn I was about to dispute it with PayPal and I was so mad yesterday after I sent the email I sent the email like three o'clock in the morning because that's when I woke up and then uh at like noon yesterday when we was at Zara I thought about it and I was about to call them but you can only contact them through email so they lucky because they was about to get a mouthful because I because they said that they take three business days to uh get back with you but you know when you're mad like you want an answer immediately so I woke up this morning I ain't gonna say I thought about it with it on my mind but I woke up and the first email I seen was paypal saying that i have been refunded they didn't email me at all y'all they did not email me at all and saying sorry for the mishap we will gladly refund you the money or it was a mistake nothing 
That's how I know they know they was wrong. That's how I know they do this to other people. When I say I will never shop, and I love their clothing, I will never shop with them ever, ever. I text my brother and I said, don't you ever um, send me no shit. I'm not buying nothing from that website because it's the principle. You you refunded me my money. Thank you for giving me my money back. But you took my shipping and then no explanation to anything. Like what kind of customer service is that? So that's my whole little mouthful. They had me effed up. But I bet you that $7 was back in my account because it, it was about to be disputed. Yep, through my bank because it had, well, through PayPal. Then if PayPal wouldn't have done anything through my bank, $7 was not about to be in my name. Shit. Anyway, so this is what I got yesterday. <laughs> yeah, this is what I got yesterday. Y'all, I've been doing so good with shopping. Like, I still go shopping, right? But it, it's basically window shopping. I'm not buying, like, a whole bunch of stuff like I normally would. And, and it's good. That is good for me. So, anyway. So, yesterday when I went shopping, I only got that one top from TJ Maxx. Then I went to another TJ Maxx. Um, and I got this little bracelet. I told y'all I've been looking for a bracelet. I told y'all in my reels. I've been looking for a bracelet. And sis, look at this little bracelet. Oh, shoot. Look at, hold on. Look at this bracelet that I got yesterday. It's a coach bracelet, y'all. Isn't she cute? And look at the price. Look at the price, girl, $23.99. I was so excited. I had purchased it immediately. Then I had told my mom, because she was somewhere else in the store. I said, girl, I just got me a bracelet. She said, you know, I've been looking for a silver bracelet. Mind you, she has about 20 of these uh, little bracelets that she's collected over the years. And I just wanted one, because I've been trying to get into my little girly era when I'm about to start wearing bracelets. I want a gold one like this as well. I'm going to look for one. Even though I found one yesterday, we went to the coach store as well. Girl, they had the same coach bracelet for $39.99 on sale. And I was like, oh, girl, I just paid $23. Literally just paid $23 for that bracelet. And then they did have the gold one, but it was like a rose gold. So I don't know if they only make rose gold or if they do make a real gold. I would have paid $40 for the gold one. Eh, I wouldn't want to. I think I'm going to just keep checking my TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx and um, Ross always have these coach uh, bangles or whatever and they have the Michael Kors I'm not really into Michael Kors but I do have uh, my two Michael Kors uh, watches so I probably could in their goal to do it to do a Michael Kors so I don't mix match brands I mean I guess it don't matter but anyways she's cute she's a little snug but the lady said that's how they're supposed to fit so she's cute that's the only two things that I got yesterday um besides the little bottles at target that y'all know i've been looking for them bottles and my mom had the bright idea to switch the tops because the top came with just a screw on top instead of the dispensing top where, where you can dispense the liquid um so yeah she bought some and then i bought some and then we just switched the tops now somebody was devious and switched the tops in the stores but my mom said she didn't want to go to jail because i was i was like shoot we could do it too and my mom said she didn't want to go to jail so we just went ahead and um, bought them and then switched the tops and she took the tops that just uh, screw on and then she gave me the tops that push out and dispense the liquid. So she a real one for that. Uh, when we went to the container store, they had the tops, the, the bottles or whatever. Girl, I can't get this person at all. They had the bottles, but they were $14.99 a piece and at Target they were only five. So I'm so glad we went to Target and found it because I did not want to pay $15. Y'all can't get this person at all. Y'all, I can't get this person off. Y'all, and I practiced in the store because I told the lady I wasn't going to buy it unless I could take it off by myself. I said, if I can't take it off by myself, I don't need it. And y'all, I still got it. I got to go in here and wash my hair and take a shower. Oh, never mind. I got it off. Woo, child. The next day. <laughs>
good afternoon sis yeah it's just one of them days i have literally been in the house all day just like watching movies as you can see like my eyes is a little whatever because while i was putting conditioner in my hair i decided to watch a sad movie and it started tearing up like girl toughen up but yeah it made me emotional <laughs> like it's just like been a whole soap opera here today in the house um because yeah i'm just watching movies just chilling i just got done washing my hair i should have put some leave conditioner in it but i didn't but today was wash day so yeah i'm just right now just letting it um sit in this ponytail hopefully um it flattens out to where i don't have to put that much heat on it and then i can blow dry it tomorrow on low heat and then straighten it because i'm trying to tra uh, heat train my hair i woke up this morning and i watched a whole bunch of videos on how to heat train hair the girl said wash it twice one to two one once a week and a little maybe twice a week one to two times a week girl i can't even get that out i don't know if i'm gonna do all that um and then she also said to straighten it one to two times a week um once or tw you get what i'm trying to say girl i cannot i need to go get my toes done it's really what i should have did today my toes look atrocious anyways um because i'm just sitting here looking at them um but yeah so i'm trying to heat train my hair i sat under with the conditioner for about an hour and some um however long the movie was um and then yeah, like I'm really, I want to do a sew-in. So I don't know if I'm going to do a sew-in this week. I think maybe I may um, order some hair on Amazon and or I have a two V-part wigs that I need to find um, in my closet and probably do that because I really don't want to do a sew-in. I have not done a sew-in in years, but I really want one. But I just wanted to do it quick and easy. So I'm going to try this V-part wig first because I want it to be a side part and then kind of like trim it like sis. I have it in my head how I want to look. So hopefully I'm going to watch some more videos. Hopefully I can do it. If not, I'm just going to order some um, bundles and have them ship quickly and we can do like a little quick weave together or not quick weave a sew in together i don't know but that is the plan and or i think tomorrow after i blow dry my hair i'm probably just gonna wear it in like a bun because i also seen this little cute bun hairstyle like a messy bun that i want to try i always do buns though but this bun was so cute i don't know either way i'm trying to wear my natural hair more so that is the plan i'm about to um continue to watch the movies i didn't even take anything out for dinner today so i may just do like some fried rice shrimp fried rice or something like that just something quick and easy um yeah y'all don't really have much going on a few hours later hey y'all Hey girl, I'm making me some, I'm making me some, um, fried, oh girl, I didn't know put this in the thing. I be messing up, this is why I can't be talking to y'all while I'm cooking. Okay y'all, I'm sampling my chicken, but I thought I was about to burn some nuts. Ooh shoot, ooh shoot. I shouldn't put no oil in it if it's bubbling, huh? The next day.
girl i'm ready i'm listening to my gospel music because i'm just feeling good but yeah i just did like a little tiktok where i'm trying to over talk the music because i should have said hey google pause <sighs> okay girl so i'm done getting ready i just got done doing a um real tiktok whatever you know it's one in the same and yeah this i've been curling this i Girl, I didn't curl this like 20 times and it does not curl. This one, the curl is dropping a little bit. But this one, I don't know. And it's the same hair from the same company because I added like a little clip in to make it a little thicker. And yeah, it's just not curling. So I'm just annoyed. Anyways. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel good today. Like I've been listening to my gospel um, music this morning um, just because the word really moved me last night off of, remember I told you I was going to church, going to church, but watching it virtually. And yeah, the word was definitely for me. Like, and then you already know I was so emotional yesterday anyway. So then the word just moved me. I was just that much more emotional. Like it was just so good. So I woke up with like a good spirit i'm playing my gospel just getting ready and then y'all you would think i'm playing like um hip-hop or something because i'm like get it yeah 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 like that's how i be like with gospel music like i really be into it like come on girl sing anyway because i'm just excited so i'm about to try to hurry up do this youtube video real quick like i really need to do um a wig video i told y'all but i'm gonna do this uh um like styling video real quick because i think it's only gonna take me about an hour and a half maybe two hours but yeah i'm trying to hurry up and get ready so um do it so i can like go enjoy the weather even though it's cold outside but the sun is out and i think i want to take pictures anyway that was it <laughs> a few hours later Hey girl, so I'm done filming. It's cold outside too, by the way, like the sun is out, but it is cold. So that little crop top that I had on, oh ma'am. Anyways, I'm done doing that. I'm on my way to the post office to drop some things off because I got some stuff from Zara that I did not like. So I'm gonna drop that off at the post office. I'm going to run to, um, probably run to the store and then, um, go to uh where i gotta go oh to crumble cookies because i really want them cookies i want the donut cookie i want the brownie cookie well i said i don't know about the donut cookie i'm about to watch some reviews and see how it tastes but then it's another cookie that i wanted but yeah that's pretty much all i'm doing today a few hours later because when we told her we didn't steal she didn't leave it alone she didn't say okay y'all um, why me and my mom just got into it with this lady we went to the store right and as we're walking out the store the lady says we're um excuse me are y'all stealing from our store i said huh are we being punked mind you we was in the store for 10 minutes y'all i kid you not 10 minutes and um we ran in ran out she said, are you guys stealing from us? I didn't even make it to my car, so I'm like, St what would I steal? What would I have in my bag? Mind you, my mom doesn't carry a purse. She has a fanny pack, so it will only have to be me. So I'm like, nothing in my bag is in my bag except for my camera. Like, what could I fit? Mind you, this is like the home store that I go to all the time. What could I have possibly stole that could fit in my bag? So then she comes to my car and takes a picture of my um, license plate. So y'all, I kid you not, I almost knocked her phone out of her hand. But I know, I remember Kanye when he knocked them people, all the celebrities, they knocked the people phone out their hand. And it's like, oh my goodness, you broke personal property. So I, I refrained. refrained and got myself together. I got myself together, come on. Um, but yeah, so she was like, I'm calling the police. I don't care if you call the police. I, this is the same girl that I got into it with before um, at the store. And we got into like a whole little screaming match or whatever. And her manager had to come and break it up, blah, blah, blah. So you're just trying to retaliate at this point. Because what? She's been in there a whole minute every time we come in there. But I guess she wasn't the one in charge. Yeah, right. She was not the one in charge. So now that she's in charge, girl. Um about to lose your job so anyway so y'all she really called the police and the police checked my bag nothing's in my bag 
ma'am, I don't steal. Ma'am, you got the wrong one. I don't steal. Man, she told the policeman that on camera she couldn't see anything. Okay? So, and so when we put everything together, if I barely, if I didn't even make it to my car before she said this, and I turned right back around because I said, let's go look at these cameras since I stole something. Let's go look at the cameras, right? Um, he said, yeah, it's not making sense. I know. I didn't make it to my car, so whatever I stole will still be on me, right? It will still be on me. He checked my purse. Nothing, nothing's in my bag. Why? Because I'm not a thief. And then you tell him that you couldn't see anything. Then she says, I cornered her because I thought we were going to go look at the camera. She said, I follow her because I thought we were going to go look at these cameras. Let's go. Let's go look at these cameras. Like, what do, what do you mean? You will never accuse me of stealing. Like, you're harassing me at this point. Y'all. I just can't. I can't. I don't even have no words to say. Y'all, so I came to Target, right? Look, girl. Did we get hit by a tornado? What? In girl. Sis, girl, I can't, I can't, people, girl, I just cannot, people, they be tearing this place up. Now listen, I knew we were supposed to be shopping, I came here for some more, um, to see if this store had some bottles because my mom wanted another bottle. Even though we just seen them, we drove so far to this Target to look for these bottles, got them, and she's talking about some, she want an extra one. So we came here to look for that and they don't even have it. And I can't even shop right or look right because I am just, my heart, my heart is just the principle. It's the principle of the matter. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I am like feeling some type of way right now. I cannot. I just, I don't, I don't know. You was all prepared, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, y'all. I can't even concentrate right now got my spirit and y'all know this morning I was in such a good spirit listening to my gospel like I had the word last night and I feel like the devil the devil the next day good morning so update on yesterday's little fiasco so I just got off the phone with the manager of the place um, and she's nice. I spoke with her before when I got into the first altercation with this lady. Um, she said that she spoke with the lady. That's not how we do things. She also knows that um, according to the officers that it was nothing on me. Of course, what the manager said, she said that the district manager is going to take a further look into it um, because since we already got into it with her before, it seems like there is a root cause. Of course there is. Of course there is. She she been looking at me crazy every time I go in there after since but of course she couldn't do anything because the manager was actually there and I guess she's just the assistant manager so this was again y'all this was just her opportunity to act um the way she wanted to act since nobody was there to reprimand her and how to act professionally and like I told y'all before when she was on the phone talking about my mom and then I said something to her and told her how unprofessional she was you know what I'm saying so obviously she doesn't need to be a manager assistant manager she don't even need to have a job because at this point I, i'm I, you never know how you're going to react until you're in that situation um because you know i see it all the time on tiktok and stuff like that where people are falsely accused but this was like a shocker to me anyway so we're just waiting um we're just gonna wait for the verdict of what's going to happen and that is it. That is all. She says she will call um, whenever she speaks with the district manager about whatever. Anyways, I'm not going to keep rambling. I'll give you guys another update whenever she calls me. I'm not sure when that will be. Um, but she says she will keep me updated. 
something better happen with this lady because this is just not acceptable so that's it that's all y'all i'm about to finish editing this video it's a rainy day outside i need to run to walmart i'm probably just gonna chill out and probably not record for the rest of the day because i'm just i'm not i did wake up with it heavy heavy on my mind and like ready to call um and it's 10 it's 10 o'clock right now by the way i waited until 10 just so she can kind of like get in and get settled or whatever but yeah i'm just still not in the mood i'm gonna listen to i probably watch a sermon or something just to get me back in good spirits. Several days later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, let me stop. Ew, the bathroom sound. Because I just had to use the bathroom. Anyways, good morning, sis. I just got done doing my makeup. I need one of those little things from Amazon where you can vlog on your camera on your dslr is that what it's called anyway on your camera and on your phone camera because y'all i literally been getting ready with tiktok on my phone and forgot all about y'all like i am so sorry we just did a full face beat um and yeah i'm getting ready to go to the dentist that was such an ugly smile but anyways i'm getting ready to go to the dentist currently hold on let me try to put y'all down it's so zoomed okay y'all that's better hold on hey y'all we we are here like it took me a whole five minutes to get it situated but we are here so anyways yeah i'm about to go to the dentist I'm about to throw on a wig because it's supposed to be raining i've been wearing my natural hair like just in a ponytail i did like a bun and bangs and i did like a swoop or whatever and yeah i'm over it because i feel like every time when i wear my natural hair i always have to wash it um at the end of the week because i didn't put a whole bunch of like little gossipy glue spray even if i don't use the spray i stopped using the spray um earlier this week because i'm like it's just hardening my hair and every time i comb it it comes out right and yeah so then i'm like bet i'm just gonna use the gel and the um edge jam then that hardens my hair and it just it's a mess like i just i can't i really want to sew in i'm about to look into it and i said that last week or at the beginning of this week anyways i said it and yeah i'm really about to look into it for real because i'm just so sick of this i just want to be able to wake up my hair already be done and all that i do is brush my baby hairs down um update update um the lady did call me back that day and she said she was sending everything to headquarters um um about the incident blah 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 y'all i'm over it it's been three days now or four days four days we haven't heard back because we heard back that same day that i had told y'all the update or whatever she had ended up calling back 30 minutes later saying that um she was sending everything up very apologetic we're gonna get you back as customers and blah 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 I, at this point, I don't care. I don't want to shop with y'all ever again in life. Um, just for the simple fact that, one, it shouldn't even take... Well, she did say she didn't know how long it would take. But in my eyes, it shouldn't take that long um, just because your your employee was wrong, just dead wrong. Again, I don't know if it's racism, if it's just hatred. It's just something within this lady because we did absolutely nothing um, wrong. And then she played victim, of course, as they all do. And, oh, my goodness, I'm so afraid of them. Bet. But you... Followed me to my car, took a put, took a picture of my license plate, and did everything that you could, um, you know, to because you thought you was gonna hurt us or whatever. So, but you're you're afraid, girl. Please. Anyway, so I just feel like a company like that does not deserve my money, um, and especially that one. There's plenty of others for me to go to but especially that one but now that you sent it up to headquarters and they're taking this long or whatever on the verdict yeah i just don't need to shop with the company period because if you allow a person like this to stay with your company what does that say about you i understand having your employees backs or whatever but the simple fact that she was wrong the simple fact that an incident prior to this has occurred where she was wrong where your manager gave us a big discount on our purchase because she was so apologetic and felt so bad 
that um, for what happened. Even the customer said she was in the wrong. Y'all still employed her, which, okay, you know, reprimand her. I don't want anybody to lose their job. But then this one, then this happens, then, yeah, no. Like, obviously, you're training with this employee or you're talking with this employee is not working. And then you still have her employed there. And this one was huge because you really thought she was going to hurt us but by calling the cops because you wanted us to go to jail or something to that magnitude. You know, we're black. We're black women. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no. I just, I just wash my hands of it all. I'm done. So, that is probably the last time you'll hear about this little incident. Um, I'll probably update y'all maybe one more time if she ever does call. Don't hold your breath because, again, it's been four days. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, that was it. A few hours later. Y'all, I hope this is not a police. When I say I am late, it's not. I am late to my appointment. I am rushing. Do you hear me? Trying to tape a TikTok reel or whatever um, before you go out is crazy. This was my first time. Normally, I don't post in real time. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. Um, but I have never did like a get ready with me prior to me going to somewhere like actually scheduling a place to go to baby I am late okay but my thing is this the dentist ain't never on time they're never on time every time that I go and I'm sitting there waiting for my appointment my appointment time is is like at 8 30 and I don't get seen until 9 so let them say something to me because I'm on one okay Woo. Y'all, so I'm done with the tennis. Why do I gotta smile when I say that? So I came to Walmart, right? Just to like see, cause I haven't been to Walmart in forever and I wanted to see if they had some stuff so I can do like another little haul. And girl, look at this little top and they have it in denim. I'm not really feeling the denim one cause I don't like the denim shade. I think I'm gonna get that black one. Then this one, you can't really tell, but it's like a sweater knit. Love that and it's only $9. The next thing I seen that I liked was these little crop tops. Walmart, stop playing with me. Look at these crop tops, y'all. Oh, girl. So now that I didn't see this, now I got to start envisioning like outfits. I'm about to go to the men's section. I'm trying to be girly, so I'm trying to stay over here in the women's. They also got these cute little sets, workout sets. It's real cute. I think I'm gonna call my mom and see if she wants to hang out. And when I say hang out, that means it's nine o'clock. Um, I'm gonna see if she wants to get dressed and come with me to the other Walmart. Um, so we can like, cause you know I need her to film. So we can film and just hang out. It's gonna be rainy today or whatever. Whatever though. I don't see no bottoms. I'm gonna have to go to another Walmart y'all. Okay y'all, I am back home. I'm about to open up this Zara package. Now, let me tell y'all, I hadn't been shopping on Zara, but when I was shopping on Zara, this was the last couple things that I got, and they had, um, I don't know if they lost my package. I don't know what happened, y'all, but I should have been got this package like a whole month ago, and it's just now getting back to me, and I think I told y'all that I didn't even want, like, I really don't even want this no more. I got this for my mom. I really don't want it anymore. I'm about to just, this is just a little sweater. Like a little crop top sweater and we're gonna send her right on back. Cause I told the man to cancel my order. Like why did I even still get this? And then I got me a little jacket. I don't know y'all, should I keep this jacket? Hold on. Should I keep this jacket? It's just a little cropped little, number i'm gonna try her on then i got me this this was 3.99 y'all so i'm gonna keep this because it was only three dollars i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna try it on she probably gonna be cute I'm gonna put this on here. it's about to it's about to but i had got this for my mom like this little net thing i had really wanted one for myself but i'm like nah i think she's cute this would be cute for my mom it's a size small. I can't even get into it if I wanted if I wanted to. Hopefully she can. But this is the jacket. I'm not even feeling this jacket anymore. And y'all uh, remember I got my mom one. This was $89. But I got it for 
I really, I really don't even want it for real. So we're going to put her in here to take her right on back to the store. Take her back. Then, then I had got this. Now I did just order this last week. And this is just a necklace, y'all. I started to order me a, um, that jacket that I showed y'all or whatever. That little varsity jacket, that brown one. But after I went, hold on, because it's about to get noisy. The jacket that I showed y'all in the store, both of them. But it's about to get warm. I'm just, y'all know I shouldn't be uh, spending any more money anyway, so I'm just not gonna do it. Plus, I really only wanted that brown and green one to match my brown and green shoes. But when I put them together, like whatever I took a screenshot, it did not go whatsoever. And that was my main point of getting it. So I'm just not even gonna worry about it and I get it. But I did go ahead and get me this necklace. Y'all know how I love Zara's jewelry. And yeah, when I went to the store, I had tried to get it inside of the store, but um, they were all sold out. So I went online and ordered it. And that's it, y'all. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got one more thing, hold on. Okay, y'all, let's get into this um, this little thing that I got from L'Oreal. Remember when I went to the post office? I did have a package from L'Oreal, y'all. Y'all, they did not want me getting into that. Okay. Stop. Okay, this is what it looked like before I just... It got a little mirror. This is what it's giving. It has like a little mirror and then some shades. Okay. So, I picked my shade or whatever. Hopefully... I don't know. Hopefully, these match... We gonna see and then we have some concealer under the eye I don't know y'all this ain't looking as light as I put under my eye this is under the eye y'all she does not want me to get in it this is like probably my perfect match but I like it to be a little lighter under my eyes I don't know Hold on, let me see let me see. This one may be a little lighter under my eye. Mind you, I got makeup on right now. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, L'Oreal. She's cute. And then the applicator is like a... If I could open it up, child. They don't want me to... They don't want me to be great. Oh, hold on. We got it. We got it. Okay, look at the applicator. Y'all see it? It's like smushed. She's cute. Oh, yeah. She's probably definitely my shade. The shade that I wear. Hold on. She's probably the shade because she is a tad bit lighter. Y'all see? Okay, L'Oreal. I can't wait to try her out. Let me just rub it. She's a little orangey. But she may work a little bit. But anyways, y'all, that is it. That is all for this little vlog. I love y'all and see y'all next time. Bye, girl.